All right, y'all. Rachel Lindsay, honey, y'all sending me the videos of her doing the interview. Talk about she's too tired to have relations with the husband. I don't understand it. I watched the interview and I'm sitting there like, girl, what? And you know what? I think, I think for women, for wives, I think a lot of wives try to protect their husband's feelings. I think either it's too tiny, it's not doing what it's supposed to do, it's not good, he don't know how to do it, and the excuse is I'm too tired. Because there is no way. Now, everybody, we all get tired at some time, but there is no way. He's a newlywed, and you tired every day. You don't want to do the do with the man. I, girl, I can't help her. I don't know what to tell y'all. So wives, wives in the comments, Please comment because I I can't I don't know I don't know girl I can't I don't have this experience. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I know I'm just a commentator today. I've got nothing to say about wives. You always so tired that you can't do the do with the husband. I just think you really don't like him. It's too tiny. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. It's not making you climb the wall called Jesus. And it is not good because there is no way that man is due hitting the spot make you climb the wall call jesus and you is tired every day it, and use the newlywed now i could understand 20 years down the line maybe i've been married 11 years i ain't get there yet i'm not trying to get there i love what i have okay and i just i don't understand but i hear women complain all the time and i'm like something is wrong i think he don't know how to do it i think it's too tiny I just, I, I just be like, girl, I understand everybody get tired once a blue moon, girl. But don't tell me you've been married three and four years and you always so tired and you don't want the D? Girl, I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe because I was celibate for so long, girl. Girl, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, married ladies. Talk to me. Y'all be married 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Matter of fact, we don't even want to go there. Let's do 10 years. Because Rachel and Brian's been married, been married four years, and she's already always so tired. She don't want it. <laughs> I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I'm going to just read these notes, child. I, you know, come on, married woman. Tell me, tell me in the comments. Rachel Lindsay did the interview and said, okay. And I, of course, you know, I love Rachel. Uh, that interview kind of turned me on. I'm like, oh, girl. Mm -mm. So anyways, so they she, they she did this interview. I don't want a copyright strike because somebody said they got a copyright strike. And I was going to show clips of it. I can't afford my channel to get no strikes. I've been doing fine. I don't have no strikes. So I'm not just going to go. I'm going to tell y'all where to find, but I'm not going to play the videos. And I have numbers marked here, but I can't do it. Okay, so she talked about, this is Rachel Lindsay, how her and uh, it was down to three guys and that Brian was the first guy for her to go into the fantasy suite. And that is the first time they had, mm, and that, you know, he was ready. He got in there, he grabbed her, and he was ready to, to, to lay her out. And she said, you know, um, she said that it, you know, it was good. I didn't like that. She said it was liberating, sleeping with three men. There's, there's one day in between. So she done did three dudes in a week. You know, I have different moral compass. So anyway, so she said in the fantasy suite, he just went for it. And uh, he was like, she was like, no, 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 no. You know, let's just talk. I have so many questions to ask you. And he was like, okay, enough with the questions. Come on, let's just go ahead and do the do. Ooh. So she's talking to the girl that did the interview. She said they never talked about what they like uh, to do in the bedroom. And I think for ladies that's dating for marriage, especially for church girls, we need to talk about these things because maybe some man needs some job that you can give him or you want, you know, not 
in the first date, like when you guys have been dating, 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 and you know, marriage is coming up, you need to have that conversation. And I also believe that you need to ask questions about the D. Okay. Cause listen, we've been celibate. We can't be getting married and got the problems with the D. Did you read in the, uh, <laughs> the naked wife about the celibate wife? Girl, the devil is a lot. That is grounds for divorce. So y'all need to talk about the D in front of the marriage counselor. Ask him, does it work? Is there a problem? Do you have any kind of health issues? Okay. Uh, I even went to the doctor with my husband, had him run his sperm, whatever. The doctor, you know, they do. She said, oh, you're going to have lots of babies. Of course, you see, the Lord only gave us one little baby. Okay. And perhaps that's just the Lord's will just for us to have one little baby. So she said they never talked about what they liked. And I think that's important. So she said they talked about sex and therapy. And she said because she's so strong and independent and, and dominant. She said in the bedroom, she likes to be handled. Oh, yes, honey. Okay. And she said, now that we're talking about this, she said, they need to talk more about the bedroom. This is at the 1250 mark, okay? At the 1250 mark, she said, we need to talk about the bedroom. So she's having this discussion with her friend, but she hasn't had this discussion with her husband. I don't understand. Shouldn't you be talking about to your husband, this is Sean body. Because child, I am not trying to get no strike. I was gonna play clips of it, but somebody say they got something. I might play the part where she talk about um so shout out to Sean. So they've never talked about it. So you're just kind of going about just doing it. You need, I think couples need to talk about, I like this. I like that. No. You got, you got to say what you want. Bend me over on the couch. Something like that. <laughs> I'm not saying that's what I said to my <laughs> At the 14, 15 mark, she said people would be disappointed about their, maybe I should play that part, because I was shocked, girl. My mouth hit the flow. My mouth hit the floor. She said people would be surprised about our 14... Okay, let's see if I play it without any problems. <sighs> Lord, let me speed it up. I just think that... She just seems so disinterested in him. You know, I'm so... I'm really disappointed in her. But, you know, maybe it's just my hopeless romantic speaking. Okay, here we go. That, that controls it too. But it's interesting you say that because now as we're in real life and the honeymoon phase is over, we didn't have those conversations. And so like the newness wears off. And maybe if we had established that. Okay, wait, I thought I had up it to 14. Your relationship isn't on the same level as that other person. Mm -hmm. And I wish we talk about more that. If, if we were talking about the fantasy suite or something, they just got, they just assumed like, oh, I bet you and Brian can't keep your hands off of each other. Oh, yeah, I and it's like, I think people would be really disappointed to hear currently about our sex life. And I'm okay with it that it's not living up to the expectations that people think of us. We are long removed from the fantasy suite. Not that what we, we have and what we do isn't beautiful. It just isn't as wild, I think, as people may be. And frankly, too, because I'm just tired these days. Mm -hmm. I'm exhausted. And I wish more people would talk about that, right? I, I hate questions sometimes that are like, how many times do y'all? Okay. The, there she says she's exhausted. I ain't never been too exhausted for the D. But you know what? I do not 
work to provide. And, and people say, oh, you're always sleeping. Yeah, you need to rest. Wives, your first responsibility is to minister to your husband. And these husband, my, my husband could come home 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. And he wants to get busy. No, you need to be home resting yourself, you know. Ooh. So when your husband come home and he want a little loving, you can give the man a little loving. I don't understand it, but maybe y'all could tell me. But I think because I, I even though I work outside the home, I don't work to provide and I rest myself because I understand that, um, I understand that um, your, your first responsibility is to minister to your husband. So ladies, you can't work, 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 and be so tired, tired, tired that you never rest yourself to be able to minister to your husband. It is our responsibility, I'm talking to the church, as wives, to minister to our husbands. And I, I you know, I get it. I get you, you may be tired once in a blue moon, but girl, you can't be tired every week. Hold on, it's my baby daddy. Oh, hold on. Hey. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so where are we at? 14. People would be surprised. You heard her say, and hey, frankly, I'm too tired. They are newlyweds. And let me tell you something what my daddy told me. The, you, your marriage is supposed to be a perpetual honeymoon. You, the honeymoon should never go away. It should never, it should never say the honeymoon phase is over. You're in your marriage. Your marriage is to be a honeymoon. At the 15, 16 mark, she says she's tired and exhausted. All uh, the hats have women have to wear. We have a lot, lot of hats to wear. As wives, we need to not wear so many hats. If you want to wear all these hats, you don't need to get married. Because one of the first hat you need to wear is the hat of being a wife to your husband. Ministering to your husband. Make sure all of his needs are met. He's making sure my needs are met. I don't need anything. Mortgage paying, money's bank, lights on, everything. I, my husband, I don't worry about nothing. I don't think is he gonna pay the mortgage. I don't think is the light bill's gonna be. I don't think oh, I'm worried about the money. It's gonna win being that. I don't worry about that. My husband get paid on Thursday. I know the money's gonna be in the bank. I'm gonna get the alert. 12.01, bam. I don't worry. So ladies, if your husband is doing what he's supposed to do and providing for you and protecting you, it is your responsibility, God-given responsibility to make sure your husband is taking care because you know what they need. You, you know what they need, child. You know. You know they need that good thing day. Okay, so you give them the good thing day. She's talking about maybe it's, 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 she wears so many hats. You're doing too much. If you're wearing so many hats that your husband is not being taken care of and provided for, you wearing too many hats and you should not have gotten married. Maybe you're not ready to be home and to be married. And then she talked about people, you know, talk about the baby thing. And she said, well, maybe she's prioritizing other things in her life. See, this is what I'm talking about. You talk about you want four kids. So you're giving this man idea that, you know, after about a year, I think every couple should have a year. You're ready to have kids. Now you're doing this, you're doing this, you're doing that. You Oh, maybe I don't want as many kids. Maybe I change priority. But you as... 
Brian is a family man. So in his mind, he's ready to have babies. You're running here. You're running there. You're doing this. You're, oh, because your priority has changed. That's why I'm thinking this interview has made me looking at her a little different. She talks about how she wants to be great in all things. We cannot be great in all things, y'all, especially when you are a wife and a mother. I'm, I want to be great at being a wife. I want to be great at being a mom. I am great at being a wife. I am great at being a mom. My friends, it's a girl, how you, you don't never hang out. I don't want to hang out. When I get off work, at 4.30, I want to go pick up my baby, give him a hug and a kiss and come home and make their meals and make baths and read goodnight stories and watch movies and get ready for tomorrow. That's that's that that's what gives me strength and what I, I yesterday I was so tired. I was so annoyed and I came home. And for me, when I am really, really tired and annoyed with people, I get my strength by ministering to my family. I made dinner for them. I made lunches. I, I packed Lexi lunch. I made my husband lunch. I made my lunch. If you want to be great at all things, then you probably don't, don't need to be married. Because when you get married, your first responsibility is your husband and your children. And if you're wearing all these other hats and you can't be great at being a wife and a mom, don't get married. And she talks about how things can be better with Brian. And this is why, you know, it's, it's really sad. It's really sad. At the 2020 mark, ladies, you should never tell your husband this. I was, my mouth hit the floor. Okay. And this is why I'm looking at her differently because this is not the Rachel I saw on the show. You know, my heart broke. All right. Let's see what this, okay. At the 2020 mark, I already speed it up. And there's a couple times, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be honest, maybe in the past month, I She's saying something real raunchy. I don't even think this girl is married, so. Being a season where this is what I have and mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. I'm laughing because I'm like, you're better than me. Oh. I, I I'm like, I'm not, I'm not even gonna give you a hand job right now. You know what I mean? I'll offer you like, a hand job. Why, why don't you go watch some porn or something? Just you <laughs> take care of yourself. I am exhausted. I can't even give that, but I love that you're saying that. Sometimes you're just. Did you all hear that? The other girl said her partner, I mean, not husband. She didn't want to do something. And she said, I'll give you a hand job. And Rachel says, well, at least you'll give him a hand job. I am exhausted. I tell him to go watch porn. Ha! Huh? You got married. And your husband want to get ministered to. And instead of you ministering to him, you are wearing so many hats that you are so tired that you can't. You can't minister to your husband. Your husband, you gonna tell your husband to go watch corn and your corn. That's why I say I'm looking at Rachel differently. Now I wish I hadn't seen this in the interview because I'm like Rachel. You told I. And there are so many women complaining that their husbands are watching too much corn. Their husbands are addicted. And here she go. Newly married now. Oh, I can't even give you a hand job. Go watch some porn. Where'd they do that? Because she's too tired. So why, ladies, are you doing so much that you are too tired that you are not able to fulfill your role as a wife is to be there and give your husband some comfort? I don't understand it. Then she talks about in at the 22 mark that she's doing so much stuff that she can't turn her mind off. 
How many of you know when you leave the office, you need to turn the office? I told you, lock her up and leave her there because when you come home, you need to be wife and you need to be a mama. She talked about how they went to a retreat and she got there and she was comfortable and happy. And then he came there and she said they didn't even have relations her husband she connected with herself so instead of her having relations with her husband she uh had relations with herself this is why i'm saying either brian is too little brian is not doing it right something is not right where you have a whole d laying next to you but instead of you riding the pony you go Ride yourself. You going to do yourself and you got a whole delay next to you, girl. No, something is wrong, Rachel. Tell us the truth, Raven. It is better if you tell me that you'll be like, girl, he don't know what he's doing. It's a waste of my time. It is too tiny. Girl, it's just sloppy. He just, mm -mm. then I'll be like, well, okay, I can understand. Then I would tell you to go to counseling and work it out. But you can't tell me you was at a retreat. Yo, you and your husband's at a retreat. But instead of y'all doing the duel and tearing up the hotel room, you 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 did yourself. And then at the 2702 mark, she said sometimes she'd be so tired or she just don't want to be bothered. She said, oh, thank God he doesn't want to. This is what I'm saying. It's not just her being tired. There is something wrong with Brian. She said she's attracted to him, but she doesn't want to do the physical act right now. Now, again, I understand once in a while. I get it. I get it. Okay. But you can't tell me every week. You. Mm -mm. Rachel, you're not being honest. Tell us the truth. Tell us the girl. Tell us he don't know how to do it. Maybe y'all need to go to, a, 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 you know, one of them people to show. Mm -mm. And, and this is why I am all for couples taking that first year to work it out and get the rhythm. You know what I mean? Like y'all need to, y'all need to take time to learn each other and get the rhythm. I'm so disappointed in Rachel, girl. I wish I had seen that interview because now I'm looking at her sideways like, oh. But anyways, boo -boo, I absolutely love you and adore you. Let me know what you think about this foolery. I'm disappointed, Rachel. I'm disappointing you, girl. Mm. Mm -hmm. But let me let me know what y'all think. And I need the wives, wives, wives. Tell me about y'all being too tired every day, every week. I get it. Once in a blue moon. But you can't tell me every week you's too tired to minister to your husband. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Ugh. Anyways, I love you. I have to go, girl. Mwah. Let me know what you think. The naked wife. I need to write a book called The Naked Husband. Love you, love you. Show me love on Amazon with my books. Leave reviews for me. I absolutely love you and adore you. Be sure to check that video out I just did about the girlfriend giving her boyfriend an ultimatum because they've been together since they were 13 years old and they're 20. She's 22 and she wants him to get married. And he's like, I ain't gonna marry you. All right, love you. Talk to you later. Bye.